Welcome to this service at Faith and Victory Church. This is the place to come to receive your miracle from God. Now, let's join our service already in progress. Let the Holy Ghost saturate us. You know, Nathan was talking about being in darkness and in gross darkness. And one of the things he was referring to was Linville Caverns. We've been in there. They'll get you up to the back of that cavern to turn out all the lights. And boy, is it, I mean, it's not just dark. It's dark, dark. It's so dark, you, I mean, you can't see. I mean, you can put your hand right here, you can't see it. It's just that it is absolutely absent of light. So it's so dark that the fish went blind. And, they, and, they, and they, all the fish in there are blind. Because they, there's, there's never any light in there, they just went blind. Because, you know, there, there's nothing for the light for them to see with their light. And so <clears throat> the absence of light. Now, now I, was, uh, I was at a, a wedding yesterday. We got back in home about midnight, you know, and, and we got family members that, that are walk, not walking in the light yet. They're coming. They're coming. But I tell you what, it's, it's easy to be light in a situation like that. I mean, you just breathe and the light comes out. Amen? He so said, we want to be light in darkness. You know, we want to be saturated with the oil of gladness above the fellows. Amen? We want that anointing of the Holy Ghost on our life where there's a gladness in us. Even when in the midst of tribulation and trial and turmoil, he can come on us and saturate us. And we can be aware of, we, you know, aware of, you know, when the, the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Then was our mouth filled with singing and our tongue with laughter. Where they said among the heathen, the, 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 the Lord hath made them glad. Whereof we are glad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. In the midst of all that, that there can be a gladness that comes on us, that comes out of the realm of the Spirit, that comes out of God, that comes out of the oil of gladness, the Holy Ghost coming on us and saturating us with his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Y'all act like an old hand pump out in the middle of a field somewhere. You got to keep priming to get going. Come on now. Let's get the pump primed and let's go with it. Amen. He is the oil of gladness. Glory to God. We don't sing, whoa, say, but I'm sad and mad. Oh, say, but I'm sad and mad. Jesus is coming. My cups run out of it like a drum. Oh, say, but I'm sad and mad. That's not the song. Oh, say, but I'm glad, I'm glad. Oh, say, but I'm glad. Even the old, old saints, the old timers had it right. Jesus is coming, my cup's overrun. Oh, say, but I'm glad. I'll tell you, even when, when you don't have anything else to be happy about, Jesus, the Holy Ghost on your life can bring a gladness to you. you know, look, uh, look we, can, we all face things. Every last single one of us face things. We wake up and face things. We face circumstances. We face life. So, uh, there's things that come against us. There's, tran there, there's, there's turmoil. There's, there's tribulation. Jesus said in the world you'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What's that mean? It's only it's going to be short lives. It lives. It's only going to be a short period of time. I'm telling you, whatever's coming against you cannot last because Jesus has overcome the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Say thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God we've been anointed by the Holy Ghost. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing. All who were what? All who were what? Oppressed. Who were what? Oppressed. Oppressed of the devil. Anybody ever had some demonic oppression? Anybody had the devil come against you? Ever had the devil press against you? I mean, through circumstances, through people, through situations, all kinds of reason, ways that the devil brings oppression against you. But I'm telling you, he'll bring oppression against you and try to rob you of your joy, try to rob you of your, your praise, try to rob you of your thanksgiving, try to rob you of your gladness, kind of make you downcast. Why, and, and even one psalmist says, why down, one psalmist, the psalmist said, why are thou downcast, O my soul? Why are thou downcast, O my soul? Amen. Yeah, you know, sometimes we've got to deal with circumstances and situations, but that's all right. You know, we can still get the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost, and he's got the oil of gladness on him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Luke chapter 4. 
Glory. Y'all here, you gone home. How many are still here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Most of you are still here. All right. Those that think you've gone, you're not, so come on and hook up with us. You're here. <laughs> are y'all just not going to respond this morning? I command you to respond in Jesus' name. The Spirit, when well, Jesus, he took the book of the prophet Isaiah and found the, opened the book and found the place where it's written. It said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me, glory to God, to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God. God, that Jesus is anointed. God anointed him. He was anointed to preach the gospel. He's been anointed with the oil of gladness above his fellows. And guess what? If we're in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. That same anointing is on the church, is on the body of Christ. Glory to God. The oil of joy is on you this morning. Say, the oil of gladness is on me. Say, the oil of gladness is on me. Hallelujah. Say it again, the oil of gladness is on me. Now look at somebody. Point your finger at them. Say, notify yourself. Of what? You're notifying yourself what? You what? Eventually y'all going to get that. Mark Hankins was talking the other day. Somebody came up to him and said, that confession stuff don't work. He said, what? What did you say? The person said, that confession stuff don't work. He said, what did you say? They said, that confession stuff don't work. He said, what did you say? They said, that confession stuff don't work. He said, what did you say? And about six or seven times they went, he said, what did you say? They went, oh, <laughs> they got it. It was working for them because they were saying it didn't work. It kind of struck him. So the oil of gladness is on me. What? I can't hear you. Hallelujah. The oil of gladness. The Holy Ghost. He doesn't come to do press. He <laughs> Somebody go on with it. Go ahead on. Gwen got it. He, the Holy Ghost, doesn't come to depress. He doesn't come to suppress. He doesn't come to oppress. He comes to deliver. He comes to resurrect. He comes to raise up. He comes to bring joy unspeakable and full of glory. He comes to manifest the oil of gladness in your life. That's why he's there. And if somebody's turning over your canister of oil, if some circumstances turning over your canister of oil, like Nathan said, don't let anything stand in between. Somebody poking a, a, a some circumstance or situation, a person's poking a hole in the bottom of your canister of oil, patch it up and get rid of it. Say, so that, ain't, that ain't robbing me. That's not stealing my joy. That's not stealing my gladness. That's not stealing my, my joy. Hallelujah. So you might have to get rid of your Game Boy or PlayStation 4. I'm not preaching at you or anything. You might have to give up your cheer wine slushies. Hello? You might have to give up whatever it is. It could, it, could be a, it could be a circumstance. You just say, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to stay up at 3 o'clock in the morning watch, you know, watching uh, YouTube videos. They don't have to be bad, just wearing you out. It's, 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 it's draining you. You don't need to be drained. You just need to get into the presence of God. Oh, that's why it's so good to be filled with the Holy Ghost. 
Hallelujah. I said, that's why it's so good to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You can go and get in the presence of God. What are you doing? You're stirring. Well, hallelujah. You go to Ephesians chapter 5. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What are you doing? Well, you're stirring up the oil of gladness. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the hour of despair, in the hour when it's getting dark, you can just lift up your hands and throw back your head and say, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye being filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Glory to God. And let the oil of gladness rise up. Let him just saturate you once again. Let's, come on, church. Come on with me now. My God, you're a Pentecostal church, aren't you? Aren't you a Holy Ghost church? Yeah. All right, get the starch out of your collar and let's go. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you're in that, when well, I'm telling you, you can be going through tough, tough places, but if you'll just lift up your voice, lift up your hands, and begin to say, Father, I praise and magnify your name. Oh, Rabbi Salalia, I thank you for the oil of gladness. Hallelujah. That saturates my being. Glory to God. He'll come on you, and he'll saturate you, and he'll stir you up. Glory to God. And once again, you'll know the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say, I don't feel much like it. Go ahead. I don't feel like, oh, Now, Satan will send every distraction on the planet to keep you out of that place. I said he'll send every distraction on the planet to keep you out of that place. Why? Because he knows when you keep pressing through. Bone gone deep, gay big. You ever prayed in tongues and just had to kind of like eat back, boom back, gin gun boom dot and goon die. Feel real German or something. Ying gun goon da. Sang rung ging gang bonde. May all sound mad. Because your flesh is fighting you every step of the way. Oh, hallelujah. But John wrote to the church in the first epistle of John and said this. He said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And when you stir up the greater one on the inside, hallelujah. And you can start out going, but you just keep on. I mean, you just got to keep pressing against it. How Dad Hagen said he was went, got one time and he prayed, he prayed in tongues for about an hour. He said, I'm just going to get down here and pray in tongues for an hour. And he said, when he got done, the devil came to him and said, you just wasted an hour. Did you understand anything you said? He said, no. He said, he said, you just wasted an hour. He said, well, the Bible says, he that prayeth in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How he that prayeth in the spirit edifieth himself. He said, I just edified myself. He said, Mr. Devil, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to double up. And if you say anything after that, I get done, I'm just going to do it again. I'll double up. So he got down and prayed. He said it was dry. Sometimes you're just going to have to get in there and say, this is it. It's me, God, and the devil. It's going to be a battle, and I win through Jesus Christ. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. This is the victory that overcometh the world. I even our faith. I can't point up. It's up there. It's behind all the paint and stuff. It's still up there. We, <laughs> hallelujah. Glory to God. I used to point it and say, it's right up there, but it's not up there anymore. We can't read it anyway. Hallelujah. He said he got down and prayed for two hours. That's two, that was three hours. He said, as soon as he got done, the devil said, now you've wasted another two hours. He said, Mr. Devil, the Bible says, he that prayeth in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. He said, so I, 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 I've edified myself. He said, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because you said that, I'm just going to double up, I'm going to pray for four hours. Now, he said somewhere where he got to pray, he got down there, he was going to pray another four hours in tongues, he got down there, he said somewhere over there, he said he hit a gusher. He said, you know what I mean by that? He said he wasn't struggling. He wasn't forcing. He wasn't making. He said he just got over into the spirit. And he said when he got done that, he, did, he, got, he got done praying. He didn't. The devil wasn't even there. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go so good. 
Oh, but see what you're doing. You're stirring up the, you're stirring up the oil of gladness. Hallelujah. I said, you're stirring up the oil of gladness. Hallelujah. He's, yeah, you'll get to the point. You won't even be able to hardly speak in English. You'll get over in the tongues and just stay over in tongues. Why? Because the oil of gladness is getting on you. You might turn your cell phone off. You might have to unplug it. You might have to do all, I mean, it might be all kinds of things you're going to have to do to see if you can get to that place and just fight it out and win. But I'm telling you, when you hit the gusher, what do you mean? When, when the manifestation of the oil of gladness takes place and all that stuff that's been robbing you of joy and all that stuff that's been robbing you of your peace and all that stuff that's been robbing you of walking with God and all that, you got over there and got into the spirit. Ooh. Now, Doyle Tucker had an old song. Now, some of you don't know who Doyle Tucker is. Doyle, now, Brother Doyle passed away, I think, last year. went home to be with the Lord. But he was, he was Buddy Harrison's psalmist. And uh, Brother Buddy, now, now listen, M M Mama Tucker uh, passed away about four or five years ago. She, she had a, lo a long-standing ministry in, in Tulsa. Long she did all kinds of work in Tulsa. And, um, but, uh, you know, Doyle was a psalmist. And so Buddy would get up and preach his sermons. And, you know, and then Doyle would come up to the piano and sit down and sing it. And Buddy preached a sermon on, you know, not letting your feelings govern you. And then Bill got out there and sang a song called Mr. Feelings. And, and, and the gist of it was kind of like this. You try to go to your prayer closet, and Mr. Feelings comes along, and don't, he, he ain't interested. Feelings ain't interested in going to the prayer closet, spending time with God. Feelings wants to go get, a, you know, uh, get, get another cheeseburger, get another honey bun, get three Cokes, get a quart of chocolate milk, suck it down. You know, go do all the kind of stuff your flesh wants to do. You know, that wants to be talking to people, wants to be texting, wants to be Facebooking, wants to be, you know, uh, playing some Facebook game, wants to be doing all kinds of stuff because Mr. Feelings ain't interested in the presence of God. So Doyle said in the song, he said, you know, just had to just leave Mr. Feelings outside because feelings, feelings, nothing more than feelings will hinder you. Y'all remember the song, Feelings? Some of you are too young to remember that song. You only heard it because we, your parents played it. It's from the 70s, you know. A lot of stuff from the 70s. You got, I mean, did you hear what, what, what Kanye West said about uh, Paul McCartney? I mean, somebody said about that. They, uh, Paul McCartney and Kanye West did some song together, and people were Facebook, Facebook and saying, I really like Kanye. I love the way he just gives these young guys a chance. Paul McCartney a chance. You're thinking, you've got to be kidding. He just sell a lot of records because of that. <laughs> anyway, Doyle said in the song, he said, I went to my prayer closet, left Mr. Feelings out there and just got along with God, got, got to pray. He said, after a little while, he said, all of a sudden there was a knock at the door. Mr. Feelings wanted to come in. <laughs> and that's how it is. You can't let your feelings govern you and getting along with God, and getting into the presence of God, and getting the oil of glass. But I'm telling you, when it shows up, Mr. Feelings wants to join you. Are you here? So you've got to control him, not let him control you. You've got, you've got to go, I might not feel great today. Oh, hallelujah. But just, just say, no, 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 no. You're in your car. Let me tell you something. Can I say something? Let me pick some group that nobody, let me find some group uh, nobody likes. Jefferson Starship. Who? Yeah, I remember them, but I, don't, I didn't like them. Any rapper right now. Rapper right now. Well, if you like rap, okay. He, he doesn't like rap, you know. Um, let's see here. Let's think of something. One Direction. I've never heard of them. That's why. Praise God. All right. But you, may, you don't need to get in your car. Oh, okay, here. Now, let me say something. Can I say something? I remember when I first got saved. Now, I, kind of, I like the Bee Gees. I think the Bee Gees are a cool group. I think. But you know what? When I first got saved, I was riding down the road one day, and I, right after I got saved, and, and, and you know, they're like going, how can you mend a broken heart? How can a loser ever win? How can the sun can stop the sun from shining? What makes the world go round? And I went, Jesus does! <laughs> the Bee Gees weren't helping me. They're just talking, you know, I, I get it. I guess I love song, the ballads, and all that kind of stuff. But at that point in my life when I was trying to, when I was trying to get a hold of things, I realized that, you know, 
Jesus makes the, you know, stops the heart, the, the, can stop the sun from shining, make the world go round. I mean, you know, he can mend the broken heart. He can do all those things. And I, I didn't need to be sitting around filling myself in, in hours of despair with songs that had no answers. Now, I, if you listen to that, I'll, you know, I'll watch a Bee Gees thing. I think it's cool. I, 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 mean, I think they're probably one of the best groups ever in the history of music just because of the harmonies and their, their writing abilities. They were, they were amazing. They could, they could write in rock and roll. They could write in disco. They could write country. And their harmonies in falsetto and, and, and a natural voice were just amazing. They were just flat out amazing. But I can tell you, it's better than listening to Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. <laughs> The acid dropping song. Or Hey Jude shooting up with heroin. All right. <laughs> Did I win? Just making that face over there on the front row. Where was I? There are just times you need to turn off all the stuff. You need to turn off all the clutter of the world. You need to turn off everything around you. And if you're driving down the road in your car, you might turn, need to turn off everything in that car and just say, just, I mean, just drive in your car. He that speaketh in a new tongue speaketh mysteries with God. Divine secrets. You're communing with the Father of Spirit, Spirit to Spirit. And where your mind can't get a hold of what certain things and can't figure out what's going on and can't. And next thing you know, there's a, there's a joy that's coming. And you may not even understand the joy. Why? Because it's the oil of joy. It's the oil of joy. You can't even cognitively figure it out. That's okay. Because it'll have an effect on you that even when you can't cognitively figure it out, it's having the effect on you. Can somebody say amen? amen. I said it's having the effect on you. Amen. The saturation of the Spirit. Can you imagine Jesus having to go through what he went through without the oil of joy, the oil of gladness on, his, on him, having to go through the, the garden, having to go through the cross, having to go through it. What does the Bible say in Hebrews? It says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the shame of the cross. He went through that because the oil of gladness was on him, and there was joy on the other side of what he was facing. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. We're not spending enough time getting over there. We're not spending enough time letting the Holy Ghost saturate us fresh and anew. We want a quick fix. We want a quick answer. We want to live in sin and get away with it. Did you know something he said here in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9? Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. You love righteousness and hated iniquity. Iniquity, the, uh, the word an ananias, and an oh, forget it. I had it earlier. But it means unrighteousness. Everything that has to do with unrighteousness, God, he, Jesus. And because he loved righteousness but hated iniquity, he was anointed with the oil of joy above his fellows. Or with gladness, oil of gladness. Think about that. See, everybody goes around and say, well, we can't say anything about people saying. The Bible says Jesus hated it. He hated it because he loved the righteousness and hated the iniquity. God anointed him with the oil of gladness. That's why I'm saying you're going to, have to put things out of the way and sit things. Let us lay aside the weight and the sin that does so easily beset us. As, you know, Jesse preached on Wednesday night, and we said before, let me say this, that weights are not sin. They are encumbrances. They are things that keep you out of walking where God wants you to walk. Not a sin. It's not a sin to watch Downton Abbey. You haven't gone on PBS, have you? Nope. Hallelujah. It's not a sin to, you know, to watch CSI or Miami or the reruns or NCIS or whatever. It's not a sin, but if it controls your life, it's a weight. I said it's an encumbrance. And what does the Bible say? Let us lay aside the weight and the sin that does so easily beset, entangle, trip up. Oh, hallelujah. But God wants us to come and get the oil of gladness stirred up. 
He wants us to Hallelujah. Having that oil of gladness on our lives. Amen. I had one of my relatives yesterday. It was, it was, it was hilarious. No, no condemnation. But pulled up beside them, and they had, by the time we pulled up beside them, they threw a cigarette in their mouth, and were getting ready to light it, and they looked there and saw me sitting there. And they went, <laughs> like I didn't see it. You know? And I'm just, I'm just sitting in the car, pounding the dash, laughing. And, and I didn't even have to say anything. My, I, one, of the, one, of, one of my nephews is standing there. He's talking to uh, some people. And Nathan's over there stop, talking to him. He's standing like this for about ten, five minutes. And you see the smoke coming up from behind him. And I finally said, I said, son, go ahead and get smoke the cigarette before you burn your hand. I don't want you to get burned. I was trying to be respectful. It's okay. Okay, and I appreciate you want to be respectful, but you know you don't have to, you don't need to get burned or set your clothes on fire trying to hide it from me. <laughs> you know, because you know you walk around, everybody's trying. I walk in, all of a sudden they start. I'm Uncle Eddie. Yeah, but you're the preacher too. You know, they walk up. You know, they, they had to you had to go to the bar to get your soft drinks. That's it was open. That's the only way you could get a soft drink. So I, I go over there, and they turn around and look at you, and they're going, "You can go first. It wasn't because they wanted me to go first. They didn't want me there when they ordered. So I kept getting in front of the line all the time, all day. I could ride straight to the front. Of the line. I didn't have to wait for anything because they didn't want me to see them order. What do you think? I'm stupid. But what's happening? See, light shining. They know that. That's okay. I don't have to condemn them. I don't have to beat them up. I don't have to tell them they're rank sinners going to hell. We can just be light there. But see, the joy that's on my life, the joy that's on my family's life. I mean, the difference that's in us. We're not miserable. We're not, you know. I mean, yeah, we go through stuff. We're just like anybody else. We go through stuff. We face things. We face challenges. But I'm not, I live in, my life is not at an end. Hopeless, it's not hopeless. We're not going under, we're going over. Can somebody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. I tell you right now, I'm, I'm having the time of my life. Glory to God. Amen. Because God's good. We're getting to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. We're getting to share the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, everything, is everything hunky-dory? Well, there's some tough places, but you know what? We're still getting to do what God called us to do. Amen. I said amen. So we just, See, is this the tongue sermon? No, I'm just trying to get you to understand. I am telling you, you can stir up the Holy Ghost on the inside of you. Hallelujah. And let him fill you and saturate you afresh and anew with the oil of gladness. And you can walk around, hallelujah, and be light and darkness, be, be gladness. What is despair and misery? They'll, 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 they'll call you aside and say, I need to talk to you. I, wanna, you know, I need to talk. I need to talk. I need to talk, okay? Why? It's like he said, I see you got the answers. We've got the answers. I said, we've got the answers. We've got the answers. So let's not let the devil rob us of our gladness so that people don't know that we got the answers. So that we don't look like we have the answers. We have the answers. And the Holy Ghost wants to saturate you. Say so he wants to saturate. I said, he wants to saturate you. We may need to lay aside weights and sins that beset us. Actually, the Bible says so easily beset us. But run with patience, the race that is set before us. Looking under Jesus, he's our example. I said, he's our example. I said, Jesus is our example. And he was anointed with the oil of gladness. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Glory to God. Say, glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this, for the word. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you that your desire is to saturate us fresh and anew. Glory to God. To, to let the oil of gladness permeate our being. And we'll cooperate, Lord. We'll pray in the Holy Ghost. We'll yield to the Spirit of God. The Lord says he wants you to 
the oil of gladness, one of the reasons his name, the oil of gladness, is because he wants you to experience gladness and joy. He wants to restore gladness and joy into your life. He wants you to know the joy and the gladness of being in the kingdom. He wants you to become unentangled with the things in this life. It's just like Nathan said, whatever it is, I, I think he said circumstances and people, whatever it is that's keeping you out, get rid of it. Because God wants to just let that gladness come out of your heart. I mean, how many remember what it was like when you first got saved? Woo, I'm saved. Just kind of walked around like that all the time. I'm saved. I'm happy. Oh, glory, glory to God. Got street signs saved. How do you get, I mean, I got three stop signs saved. How do you know? Because when I walked away, they were green and said, go. It's a joke. Hallelujah. We trust that you were blessed by the word of God and the flow of the spirit of God in this service. If you would like to contact us, please write us via email at office at fbc.org or using our mailing address, P.O. Box 7752, Greensboro, North Carolina, 27417. If you would like to contribute to our ministry, please go to our website at www.fbc.org and click on the Giving Online button. Thank you, and may God richly bless you for your giving.